Hello guys, this is the White Tour HD here, and today we'll be trying for trophies again with this Irish team for the St. Patrick's Day tournament. And in goal, first of all, we have the beast himself, Shea Given, who's super overpowered otherwise, which I would use in a non-rare Premier League squad with 85 diving, 86 reflexes. And then we have the amazing Calvin Gunning with 76 pace and 81 heading, which is a lot for silver. Only 68 defending, but his pace makes up for it as long with his aerial dominance. And then... We have Dylan with 70 pace, being his standout stat. I mainly only got him for pace, and because he was the cheapest out of all the semi okay centre uh, backs. Then we have the fastest Irish right back in the game, O'Brien, who cost me 600 coins. There's one other guy how, who's also silver, but he was just costing too much. And then we have White, Aiden White, who plays for Leeds with 91 pace and 67 defending along with 63 heading. And then the beast himself, uh, James McLean, I think his name is. And he has 84 pace, 7-7 uh, seven, seven dribbling, along with 74 heading, and a 2-star weak fit for star skills. Then we have Darren Gibson, who plays for Everton, who beat Man City yesterday. And then he, ha he has 70 pace, 81 passing, overall pretty solid in the midfield. And then we have Keith Fahey, I think, with 75 pace, 71 shooting, 73 dri uh, passing, 71 dribbling, and some wicked, wicked free kicks. And then we have the... Aiden McGeady with 91 pace, 86 dribbling, 5 star skills, 4 star weak fit, who also coincidentally invented the McGeady spin or was named after him at least. Then we have an amazing player, really solid player in Stokes, Anthony Stokes, with 4 star skills, 73 heading, 74 dribbling, 78 pace, and 75 shot. And then we have the bit of an overpowered guy who's really, really good, Shane Long, 88 pace, but he's 93 acceleration, so so quick off the mark, along with 74 heading. And everybody gets 9 chem except for O'Brien in this team because I didn't want to convert O'Brien because he was going to be bad anyways. So, uh, we go into St. Patrick's Day Cup where you win 15,000 coins and one premium gold pack. But while we go into this tournament, um, all, of the, all of the teams you come up against look more or less the same. All of them have Shane Long. A lot of the ones who can afford it have Gunning and White, and they, have all, they all have Gibbs and things. So, really, some of them have uh, Keane as well, the guy who used to play for Tottenham. And with... Just a really nice long shot there with Long, who normally won't do that. However, that time he actually scored that. And um, so really, the teams you come up against aren't much of a surprise. A lot of them are in four four twos or four four one ones like mine. So it's, however, it it's also kind of fun because you know, exact you you know the players that are gonna come up. So it's more player on player, like who's a better uh, FIFA player. Not as much who's got the faster pace your team because all well, the teams are basically the same. So that's what I kind of liked with this tournament. However, of course, there's some ways if you have more coins you can afford better teams. Like I, for example, have had enough coins to afford Aiden White at left back. Whereas if you don't didn't have the whatever 10k he cost, you would have to buy some non shiny bronze left back or something, and maybe he wouldn't be as good. But you get where I'm going at. And this. Uh, the footage you're seeing here isn't the first time I tried winning this tournament. I think I tried winning it twice before, but it was just so rage-inducing, and I got knocked out in the quarterfinals and things. And in the be in those two tournaments, I did not have issues. Um, or, or as you see here, we win the first round of the St. Patrick's Day Cup with six four. However, going back to my point, scoring goals and taking the lead was not a problem for me. So I would get two no, three no leads, and then somehow he would just my defense and my midfield would just collapse after that and he would just score and score and score which just got me so so angry however uh, in this when i went with this tournament or tried with this tournament i managed to i don't know overcome that somehow Had the, however here we use keith no yeah keith Faye who i i don't normally take those free kicks like that i go for um driven free kick to the far post however he did some have some really solid stats, so I thought I should go for it, which I did. And he scored a really nice free kick off the other side of the bar there. And then McGeady is just so good with his unbelievable pace, and those running scoop turns are just so overpowered in this game. However, he rage quits uh, after I get the 4 0 lead, and I think I got 3 or 4 perfect 10 match ratings there, which I've never had before. But of course, because he rage quits so early into the game. And um, otherwise, if you. Something which I noticed with this team, is his defense did not have a lot of pace, which opened up a lot on the counter. Here on the counter, in the second minute, for example, James McLean just tears Richard Dunn and 
uh, John O'Shea apart, who both have 60 or 50 pace something together. And then uh, Shane Long there jumps the highest on that header, and some which I realised in this tournament or started realising now is that early crosses are actually really good. So be, normally if I cross, which I try not to, but sometimes I have to, I run down to the end line and then cross that way. However, early crosses can be so, so effective. And then Stokes just really, really scrappy goal, but slots at home pretty easily into the back of the net. And then McLean, who um, somehow does a scoop turn. I don't know how I did it. Four-star skillers should be able to, but not as easy as five-star skillers. Five-star skillers, sorry. And then Aiden White there. Uh, outside the box shot with his weak foot, so I was really, really surprised when that went in. However, we go into the finals of this tournament, and so I'm really, I'm trying to concentrate, trying to get into the mood of this tournament because I really do not want to lose this one again. And we come up against Team Four. I forgot what his thing was, and he had a solid, solid team with good centre backs that left mid, bronze left mid with the ninety pace and things, and McGeady and all of those players. However, in the forty fifth minute, uh. Across um, in the so you see that over and over again in FIFA and to give me the lead and then I sweat I take a easy pass across goal because I just wasn't going to lose this tournament that's what I told myself and then I step inside really really nicely with Mikidu which is why I love him his ball control his skills are just so nice with a nice Ronaldo chop in between the two defenders which got me the three no lead and then Shane Long with a ball row pass the goalie just. He abuses his pace and scores. And then, as you see there, he rage quit straight after I scored that goal, and that officially made me the winner of the St. Patrick's Day Cup. And here we open the premium gold pack that you win, where I got Toivon and the Swede, who really isn't that good at anything. However, I also got a center forward to striker position modifier, and yeah, so I which sold for something like six k. So. At the end of it, I think I earned 22k profit or something from this tournament. And I sold on my team for... I didn't really make a loss on too many players. But So this was a pretty fun team to use. I would never use it again because there were some things I would change around. But it was a fun little tournament. But if you enjoyed the video, uh, if you could subscribe, that would be really nice. A like would be cool as well. And apart from that, guys, peace out.